Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Jen Joy Plans. Today I have Plan With Me featuring this adorable Lake Life kit from Sugar Pop Fizz. And then I'm pulling in some um, quote overlays. You see me putting it on right now from Plana Hannah. It's one of her summer quote overlays. I can't remember if it's one or two. And then I pulled in a 15 millimeter um, washi overlay from Plana Hannah as well in like one of the suns. And you'll see that in a little bit. So I already actually laid down the glitter headers because I was trying to figure out my color order since I wanted to color block this kit. And um, I just went ahead and did that off camera. So I'm just jumping straight into it. This kit is so cute. This artwork, like when Sugar Pop Fizz sneaked that she was doing this, I immediately was in love because a lot of summer kits are beach kits. They are beach, 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 different variations of beach, like boardwalk at the beach, the sand at the beach, whatever. And then like with an occasional pool party. I don't do either of those things. I go to the lake in the summer. So when I saw a lake kit, I was like instantly in love and then it helped that the colors were fantastic. I'm not a pink girl. However, the greens and the blues are so cute and they really contrast against like the pink pops against the blues and the greens so well. It works together just like amazing. And then I love the touches of chocolate brown, like just subtle and so good. Um, so yeah, I was loving this kit. I didn't go actually to the lake this weekend. I thought about using it, but, um, in the summer we go to the lake a lot that it's not, I don't need like one certain kit. I just wanted to use this as a s general summer bright kit. So you can see I'm reshuffling a lot to trying to figure it all out, but I ended up moving the quote box up. You can see that foil is popping and I think I end up moving it again because I'm just so indecisive. Like I laid that um, quote overlay, which I don't know. And then I was like, well, I don't know if I want that to be my feature box. Like it's not my favorite box. It's like my least favorite box. That's why I put a quote overlay over it. But I didn't want it to be like, just overwhelming hollow down at the bottom I don't know so I think it took me a minute to figure it all out I decided not to do bougie boxes because I've talked about it before I've been really comfortable not using bougie boxes every week saves me a little bit and then I decided that for like special spreads that I will do bougie boxes but I'm not gonna like go out of my way to buy any at least right now um so you will see that in a little bit. Um, as far as this week goes, it was, I feel like, just a general good week. I don't know. It was a week. Um, actually, no, this was a really good week. Sorry, I had to think about it for a second. You know when it just takes you a minute to be like, what did I actually do this week? Um, this week, I feel like it was a really emotional week in a good way, but just... The end of the school year is wrapping up and if you're a teacher you know that the end of the school year is really emotionally draining because the kids are just like extra extra testy and like whew, you gotta take lots of deep breaths you're like have we really been in school for this long and you still can't figure this out or like you still can't remember this you're still interrupting me um they just feel that end of the year like jitters and act out extra but then at the same time, you look at them and you're like, oh my gosh, this is my final days with you, your sweet babies. Like, I don't know. So it's that hard balance. And then on top of it, doing all these like theme days with them for my ABC countdown. It's just like a lot of extra work, which I knew, but um, it's always worth it. So um, this week, though, was a little extra funky with the um, like emotions and with my schedule because on Wednesday, it was actually my nephew's kindergarten graduation, and he goes to the school that I will be teaching at, and they put on a full-on production for kindergarten graduation, which I'm going to be completely real with you. I kind of have a little bit of a beef with kindergarten graduation. I know most of you probably don't care, but as a kindergarten teacher myself, 
it is hard. Kindergarten graduation like doesn't make sense to me and I feel like it's actually hard for the kids because you do this whole big thing. You do like like a lot of schools do caps and gowns and special assemblies and like you know parents are invited in and I'm all for celebrating the end of the year and I think that kindergarten is like an like extra big year. Um but graduation in my mind means like you are leaving a school like you are the last grade of that school and then you move on to the next like school I know moving kind of like it's not about moving um but like graduation you can do a preschool graduation you end preschool and then you jump into elementary school you can do a fifth grade graduation that's the last grade of elementary school so then you go into middle school like you see what I'm saying then eighth grade graduation 12th grade college like you're not doing graduations every year you're not doing a first a second grade a third grade a seventh grade like unless that's the last year out of school you're not doing graduation kindergarten is not the last year out of school it is just the beginning. So it sets up these little kids because they've already had a preschool graduation the year before and then they get this big kindergarten graduation and then it's like, do I get a graduation every year? Then they start asking it like, no, graduation's like, I don't know. It kind of takes away a little bit of the specialness of a graduation and like the importance, but that's my own personal beef. I understand that they're adorable and like, a good way to celebrate, like I said, but yeah, I'm sure you don't care about that. I'm clearly very passionate about it. That was my condensed version. Um, but anyways, long story long, kindergarten graduation. It was adorable and it was really fun to go and support my nephew. And of course, since it's at the school that I'm going to, it was fun to get to like be a part of that community experience. And it's really cool because they invite, they do this cute like little poem about they're so sad to leave kindergarten. We learned so much, but we're excited for first grade, blah, blah, blah. And then they bring up all the first grade teachers. So since I was already going, the first grade team invited me up on stage, which I knew beforehand. And so that was fun. They kind of did this whole like passing the baton of the teacher that's leaving and I'm kind of taking her spot on the team. And I got to be up on stage with like, you know, staring out to the crowd of all these teacher, all these parents. And it's like, there's 120 kindergartners at this school. So seeing all their friends and family and parents and siblings, and I'm just like up on stage doing this awkward wave. Um, But it was really cool. And then people are so nice in that community. They came up and found me afterwards and introduced themselves. And obviously it helps that my brother and sister-in-law are parents of a kindergartner. So they were introducing me to some of their friends and their kids. So it was cool to get to like meet people and all that and since I had the morning off of work and since my mom is a teacher there as well we like kind of just stayed around and helped clean up and chit chatted and I got to talk with like all of the kindergarten teachers which was so amazing and it just felt really nice because I was able to connect with them one-on-one like literally had a one-on-one conversation with all five of them and They um, got to know me and my personality a little bit as they kind of do class placements this um, next week. And so they kind of know which kids, when you're doing class placements and you have a new teacher, it's hard to know like, ooh, will their management style or their personality work with this kid or I don't know. So it's good for them to know and it was really cool I feel really lucky that they were able to each get to know me and like I feel like I made good impressions so they knew kind of my heart as a teacher and my personality so I feel really hopeful that um that it will be like you know good classroom placements and um that they're not like just doing random blind like I don't know I hope she's good like I don't know we don't know anything about her so it felt good from that perspective I'm not sure if that made sense but a lot of this is kind of like educational shop talk but welcome to my channel I feel like I have to kind of incorporate that in a little bit because it's so much a part of my life um but anyways that was a really cool and like emotional experience and it's like in itself because you're just doing like so much talking and networking 
and it can be draining. And then I went back to school for the rest of the day. And that was like, whew, that was just a lot because it just felt like the longest day ever. Um, and I originally was going to have the whole day off, but they needed me, the sub that I had actually canceled. So we were able to only find somebody just for the morning. So yeah, it was crazy. But then the day before, I actually, um, on Tuesday, you see, I marked half day and that was fun because I got to go meet that first grade, like my team that I will be working with. And so I got to meet them before going up on stage with them and before all like, the graduation festivities so that was fun to see the classrooms get to know them and same kind of thing like they can know my personality we kind of ask little questions back and forth and yeah now they know that like I'm not a brand new teacher and um they know a little bit more about me so that would be good it made me feel really excited for the upcoming school year and I feel like knowing so many faces and getting to make so many connections with people and every conversations like I left and people the other person the other teacher that I was talking to they're like I cannot wait to see you in August like they were just so caring and thoughtful so I feel like in August when I show up to you know new school functions and the trainings and stuff that I'm not just going to be like awkwardly standing in the back that I've already made these connections so I am feeling good about that um so lots of little happy stickers um I decided to make this video a little bit longer and leave in me placing down all the boxes with a sugar pop fizz mini kit I literally use every box possible pretty much so I thought it'd be fun for you to see like I kind of have it dialed in um, to an extent, I still have to do a lot of playing around with sizing because I don't follow the same format every week, but you can see me lay them all down. Um, but for school scripts, I used McPlans and Font One, my favorite, Carly Plans, little backpacks, um, and then the little half day and no school script on Tuesday and Wednesday are from Carly Plans, little school sampler, which I need to remember to pick up another one before the next school year. The little cheerleader on Tuesday is from McPlans. So cute. And that was marking meeting my new team. And then the little like mom and daughter pig is also from McPlans. So I marked that having dinner with my mom. And then the little pedicure is an old script from Kinsey's Creations. And then um, Coffee Monsters Co. Little nail polish girl or not girl. Little what is it? Munchkin? No. I don't know. I can't remember what they're called. Um, then on Wednesday, the little yay sticker is from Paper and Milk. On Thursday, I marked Sadie's first birthday and that little dog sticker is from McPlans. And then on Sunday, I marked our cousin's grad party. Well, it's my husband's cousin. Um, and that little like celebration is, um, Maru is from McPlans, or wow, is from Paper and Milk, who they're unfortunately no longer open, at least for now. I know they're making a big move, so fingers crossed they reopen um, at some point. <laughs> and then um, this is me kind of just putting down the boxes. So I figured while I do this, I can finish up some of the questions that I asked for on Instagram. So the first question is from Amy Ray Plans, and um, well, I guess this is part two. So first question for this video, I answered the rest of them in my previous last Thursday's Plan With Me Beach Life. Um, first question for this video is from Amy Plans, and Amy Ray Plans, and she asked, what's your favorite color? And it is orange. I love orange. It's so bright. It's so happy. I've loved it ever since I was little and my kind mother even let me have like a Nickelodeon orange colored room. I feel like it was done really like when I say that it was done in a the most classy way possible. Um but it was still it was still bold and I loved it. <laughs> and I love that she let me do that. So, orange for sure for sure. Then she also asked, what's a movie you always like to rewatch? And that's so hard. I love like chick flicks and like especially those ones from like the early 2000s. Those were my jam. And I still own some of them on DVD, which like does anybody still have DVDs? Let me know if you do. I have them, but what do I do with them? But like getting them when they were $5 at Target or Walmart was so cool back in the day. Um, anyways, 
The Proposal. I love that movie. I used to watch it a lot more and then my husband was like, I think that's the only movie you watch. Like I've already watched it with you three times and that was when we were like just dating. And so I kind of took a little bit of a, a break from it, but I could watch it any day. But I also love Sweet Home Alabama. I don't know. There's a lot of them, but those are the first two that come to my mind. All right, the next question is from Cafe with Anna, and she asked favorite sweet treat, and I love all things sweet, but I don't know. I love ice cream, but for some reason, bunt cakes. Does anybody, like, do you have a nothing bunt cake? That's what I'm thinking of specifically. Like, I don't go and make this, but if you've ever tried nothing bunt cake, yum. Like, yum. They are my favorite, and they make a gluten-free one and it's chocolate chip and it's so good so I feel like that's my favorite sweet treat but that's pretty bougie I will settle for basically anything though like Reese's peanut butter cups delicious Skittles peanut butter M&Ms I love peanut butter so like anything in that kind of family love but like I said I'll pretty much take anything and um yeah Like, if it's in my pantry, I will eat it. I love it. All right, the next question is from underscore Novelia Gavi underscore. I think, hopefully I said that right. Um, Anyways, she asked, how do you pre-plan your memory plan with me? And I actually, um, let's see, I basically go from my like phone of my main events for the week and I write it on a sticky note and just kind of write down like Monday, Tuesday, whatever. And I mark the few things that I need to do. And obviously I know in my head I need to mark school every day. So I just kind of have a sticky note sitting off to the side of the things that I need to mark. Lately, I have been using my reusable sticker album, going to a blank page, and I've been pre-pulling the like stickers that match but I literally started that two weeks ago. So before then, I was flipping through my sticker book every single, like, for every single event and just pulling what I needed. And then what I like to do is I like to pre-plan it before the week starts. And for kits that I'm color blocking or that there's, you know, not many stickers to choose from, I like to lay down all the stickers, like what I'm doing here, because to me, I can just, it's just easier to fill in. And then every night before bed or every couple nights before bed, I will sit down and like fill in the events, um, fill in the missing boxes of like what I actually did. So hopefully that makes sense. She also asked, how did I start with planning stickers? And I actually started in a Erin Condren vertical, standard vertical, and I used really not many stickers, but like washi tape to time chunk, like classes and meetings and all that stuff. And I really wish I could find that planner because it was so unique and so fun. So I kind of started with that. And then I realized like I took a break for a year or two, and then I realized there was this whole sticker community. So I started kind of dabbling in some Etsy stickers and tripped across Glam Planner and I had watched L like beauty video. So I was like, oh, okay, that's somewhere I can start. And I started with grab bags. Grab bags are a fantastic place to start because then you can figure out like, what are the stickers you're actually using? Are you using full boxes? Are you using like functional? Are you using whatever? And you can see like, what are the things that you personally need in a kit? And then go from there to see what size of kit you need or like what planner size you need. If you need to go bigger, if you need to go smaller. And I feel like that's what's helped me over the years to kind of like decide. Let me know if you have any more questions for future videos, but let's skip to the end to see the final spread. All right, here is my finished spread. You can catch some of that hollow. I really love how this spread turned out. Love the colors. And I just have really been obsessed with color blocking Sugar Pop Fizz kits. I just feel like I have the perfect amount of stickers. And yeah, so this week was kind of an emotional roller coaster of a week, but like kind of in a good way. Um, I got to meet my new first grade team. It was graduation. I think I talked about this already. So got like all the good feelings. It was our dog's first birthday. I love this little moment over here with the little balloon, heart balloon sticker. And that's from the Fruity Sticker Co. Um, And then over the weekend, just chilled out. 
we did some yard work and I worked on report cards and we were both, my husband and I were feeling kind of under the weather and um, trying to rest up and recoup for the last week of school. So that is it for this plan with me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye everyone.